Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. Welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decision, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that we'll be uploading. Thank you. Good day, wherever you are listening to me. You're very much welcome to my channel. Thank you for keeping faith with me and following up with all the videos that we've been uploading. Today, we are continuing with our series on transportation model using the least cost method. In the least cost method, we identify the cell with the least cost and we apportion supplies uh, to fill up the demand from the different centers and we do that on and on until all the supplies from the supply points are filled up into the demand points let's look at what we have again on our workboard i want to encourage you to check the other videos that we have uploaded earlier on this series so that you can connect and have a better grasp of how we solve problems using the transportation a lot of sub problems um, dealing with transportation um, model Let's look at what we have on the board here we are looking at this example and what we what we're doing dealing with the least cost method is to identify the um, the, um, the cell with the least unit costs from here we can identify and we apportion volumes into them. In this case now, which cell is having the least cost here? All right, we can see here is having 10, and we're also having 10 here. We're having 10, and we're having 10 here. So we can start with any of them, with either of them we can start with. So in this case, let's start with this top one. So that we can fill up the demand from west with the demand from west the warehouse from west is 200 and the supply from albara is 1200 so we easily fill this up with 200 and this crosses out will fully satisfy west and this one becomes what 1000 thank you you're following okay the next list cost will set so we settle this list cost. The next list cost is still 10. So we'll come here and fill up 10. So we'll fill up this value. So what we're going to have, we're going to have 1,000 in here to fully fill up this, uh, the demand of the south. And this becomes zero. And then this one reduces to what? To 400. We've done that. The next list cost is what? 15. So you can see that we have 15. In this case, look at 15. We have 15 here and we have 15 here. So we can decide to, to do whatever we want with them. Either we fill this up or we fill this up either way. So in this case, let's um, maybe let's fill this top one. So if we fill this top one. This one, the no, okay, um, for my solution here, what I simply did was I took this one, I filled this one here. You can do any one you want to. So you can try this. Take this um, 400 and fill in here. Okay, so that we're going to have 100 here left. And this has been fully exhausted. We still have 100 here. The next list cost is 15. So we'll come here and fill this 100 here to satisfy this point. This one is fully satisfied. And then we're left with um, 900. Okay. And as it were, the next list cost is 20. But we can't fill 20 because they've been, they've been taking over. So we can't fill 20. This has been fully satisfied. We cannot fill 20. This has been fully satisfied. 
and the location also has been fully satisfied. So what we are left with is just here, this cell. This cell will easily take care. I mean, this cell will easily take care of our 90, number four, of our 900. So we're going to have Agbara filling up the north here with his um, supply of 900, taking care of the demand from the warehouse demand from the north. That will take care of this, and this becomes zero, and this becomes zero. So as you can see, we have satisfied, we have fully satisfied all the demands, and we have exhausted all the supplies from the different, um, uh, well, from the different uh, supply points. So what we now do is to find the transport cost. The transport cost. The transport cost is to say from Agbara to to the north. We have um, nine hundred times forty. Okay, from Agbara to the east, we have one hundred times fifteen. That is this one. Then from Agbara again to west. That is 200 times 10, okay? Then we have this two to deal with. We have local jar, local jar to south. Local jar, local jar to the south will be 1,000 times 10 units. Then we have local jar to the east. Local jar to the east, we have 400, 400 times, times 15. So let's quickly do the maths. Can you help me here, wherever you are? Punch your calculator with me. So that's 900 times 40 will give us um, 36,000. 100 times 15 will give us 15, no, 1,500 to give us 1,500, okay? 200 times 10 will give us um, 2,000. 1,000 times 10 will give us 10,000. And 400 times 15 will give us 6,000, okay? So, can you add this up? When you add this up, this should give you 55, 55,500. Now I want you to compare the answer you got in this question with the solution we did with the North, uh, Northwest Corner Method Example 3. Remember this example we did in the Northwest Corner Method Example 3. I want you to compare this answer of 55 500 with the answer we have in that um, lecture and tell me in the comment section which of the two methods you would apply as a manager of this company which of them which of this method is cheaper which of this method you will incur lesser costs thank you very much if you're here to subscribe to this video or to my channel please do subscribe and share this video to as many of your friends to enjoy and to get what we are giving out from this channel. Thank you very much and God bless you.